and I'm here with trainer Whit Beckman, the trainer of Honor Marie. This horse caught my eye early on, especially at the Jockey Club. When did this horse catch your eye? Because we did talk about it a little bit, you know, this morning about kind of wasn't much coming in the barn at, at first. Yeah, early on he was just an immature horse. He had a lot of, like, very childish behavioral um, uh, things. He would pull his halter off every night, chew it up, chew his bandages up. He'd take these black mats into the stall, the hay savers in the back. He just, if there's something to destroy, he pretty much destroyed it. But, I mean, and as far as ability goes, he was always one that just kind of was, took longer to go through those early paces. I was very kind of slow with him early. We didn't get him into a schedule, you know, for a couple months. Um, and then when it kind of, you know, waiting for him to get completely perfect, he's never been that great of a mover, you know, comparable to some of the things you see out there. So when we ran him, I was just kind of hoping, you know, that he would get out there and show, you know, that he was at least ready to go. But he exceeded the expectations. I knew there was talent. Did I think he was going to win first out? No. But at that point, I knew that, you know, from where he came from, way out the back in that race, that we probably had something that we could work with moving forward. You know, and you talk about his movement. Sometimes, though, these dirt horses that run huge don't have that perfect body, that perfect movement, because these are dirt horses. Yeah. So come like the way that you've developed this horse how did that play into factor like how did you develop him into what he is today um I think a lot of it was never really kind of framing him in any sort of like scheduling you know I mean you try to maintain these weekly schedules and like you know as far as getting him ready for races but he's one that if he needed a couple extra days on either side of a work or if he needed a couple extra days outside of a race we were quick to give it to him you know I just he, we knew he was a special horse, um, especially after that first race. He just really came alive. His works really got good. You know, that second start, he did finish second in a really sloppy, nasty day. But, you know, really proud of the way he ran. And we knew that once we got him around two turns, that's when we were going to see, like, the Honor Marie that, you know, obviously we know today. I mean, I'm just getting a kick out of his personality because before when we were standing outside the barn, he was not acting like this. And right now he is he's hamming it up for the camera yeah. so he worked with a goo this morning let's talk about the work because that's obviously a lot what the betting public is going to want to know what was what was so nice about this work because he has worked with a goo before mm -hmm. is that correct yeah early on him and a goo were like best bud workmates pretty much all throughout their two-year-old years because they're both talented horses and i knew both of them uh, you know they would just give each other that kind of competitive push to put in he's you know a, goo, a lot goo? Yeah, he's like, like, so with uh, with today's work, I wanted to get him kind of back matched up with a goo who's a you know very nice horse in his own right. Um, and the goal was kind of give him something. You know, we're nine days out from the Derby, kind of off a ten day break, which was by design. You know, I had four weeks to work him three times, and he's just you know, he's super fit. So today's work was just meant to be a solid, sharp move with a good gallop out, and you know he looked uh, looked impressive throughout. And you have Irish jockey Ben on him. He really fits this horse nicely, and it was almost just a really hand of luck, right? Just to get Ben and the horse together because Ben probably would, would Ben have been your first choice starting out? Well, yeah, coming through it, no. I didn't really know Ben until we got down to fairgrounds, and, you know, we knew what we were coming down with him. So early on, Rafa Bayarana was, you know, going to keep them out in the Risen Star because he won on the jockey club with him. But then after that race, you know, we had talked to, you know, Florent Giroux worked him a couple times for us and really got along with the horse well. And I know he was real interested, but just some prior commitments didn't allow him to sit on him that day. But as soon as, you know, we knew that was the case, I thought Ben was probably the best guy for the job, you know, down in New Orleans. And coming into this race, I mean, this is the biggest race in the world, you could really say. He is just handling himself like an absolute pro. Yeah. Moving forward... How do you feel he's just going to develop? Well, past this point, hopefully, like, we can get him to this point, kind of just stay stable at the, where we're at right now. I mean, here he is, and it's like, you know, he just worked 59 and won, and he just, he's back here like nothing happened. I mean, he came back to the barn, was cooled out within a few minutes, you know. So if we can just maintain this current trajectory, just keep this horse happy, which I know he is, yeah, I feel like we're in good shape. 
So Honor Marie had a impressive, wonderful work this morning, very straightforward, came back to the barn, and obviously you guys can see how just awesome this horse is in personality and form, and he is in great hands here with Mr. Beckman. So best of luck moving forward. Thank you. I'm very thrilled to see this horse go, and I know the Fandle fans are as well. Yeah, yeah, thank you, and hopefully, yeah, for Saturday in May, we're having some more microphones in my face. Thank you, Whit. <laughs>